6.4, number 24. Again, we have a trinomial, and we want to factor it. So first thing you always do is look to pull out a GCF. And generally, if your first term, the uh, x squared term, or the a squared in this, term, in this uh, case, has a negative in front of it, take out the negative. And that means you've got to pull out a negative from everybody, because you're pulling out a, a greatest common factor of negative 1. And that makes it a lot easier to see how the factoring is going to work once you get rid of that negative in the front. So GCF pulls out negative. That means everybody loses a negative and becomes positive. And now we use trinomial factoring to factor what's left. There aren't many options here. We can have 7 times 1. Same here, 7 times 1. So I'm just going to put them in. 7a times a, and then b times 7b. And I'm putting them in so that the 7 and the 7 multiply each other to give a middle term, because that is a very large middle term. So I know I'm going to want to use that 49 as um, part of the middle. All signs are positive, and then just double check it. 7a squared plus 49ab plus ab is 50ab plus 7b squared, with a minus in front would make everybody negative and give us back the original. So that one works.